How's it going, folks? I had an AC company do an overhaul of my air conditioning heating units. They do it every year. You check out everything, flush the lines. They replaced the motor earlier in the year. It was way back up in the unit. Maybe I could have tried it, but there's a lot of sharp metal. I didn't want to cut myself, and I was busy. But when it came out a couple of weeks ago, they said the capacitor was low. And I have changed those before with the help of my buddy, Mr. Joe, outside. The capacitor holds energy to either start and or run the unit. It holds a lot of energy from that 120 volt system. It's got to be discharged before you mess around with it. I have them in my outside air conditioning units and upstairs in the blower units to start the motors. I decided to try it myself. So I asked the company, how much do you want to change capacitor? $150. Wah, wah. Paid seven dollars and thirteen cents for the capacitor. Watch what happens. You know, on outside air conditioning units, the capacitors in here to hold some power to start the unit. Sometimes there's two capacitors, one to start it and one to run it. I'm not gonna take those apart. But it's the same idea. I'm gonna shut off the jumpers to the furnace. I'm going to turn the thermostat off, put the fan on auto, have the breaker off, I have the thermostat off, and I'll shut off the local power switch to this blower. Here's the capacitor. And the first things I like to do is just to see if I sense any electricity. This tool will pick up a current on the end. Don't sense anything. Okay. Then I'm going to get a plastic you know, screwdriver, ground everything, touch all the terminals to each other, to the bottom, to the back. Make sure everything's off. Make sure everything's out of the power though. Okay, power seems to be dissipated. Have to remember which wires are going into which uh, little terminal coming out. Replace it the same way. Got the replacement. 5.0 microfarads MFD. 37440 is the exact replacement. And I was told by Mr. Joe sometimes they say start and run on them. Oh, here it goes. Industrial grade for motor run. Okay. Let's replace it. You're always nervous, You're always safety counts. Goes on the outside on the left. This goes on the outside on the right. Oh, didn't even have to unscrew it. Put it back in the same way. Side on the right, and that side on the left. That's it. Let's test and see if it works. System to run. It won't run if this row door is open. Slide it in this way first. 
think. Sort of spring loads in there. Okay. Sealed up. Turn the breakers back on. We're going to turn the thermostat on and check the heat. And turn on the power to the unit. Got the flame coming on. Propane gas heating up. And motor turned on, new motor. You can barely hear that thing turn on. That's nice. Let's make sure we got air coming out. A nice flow coming out. Okay, took about five minutes maximum. Just walking back and forth between the breaker and switches and remembering tools and cost me seven dollars seven seven dollars fifty cents.